Hi everyone, this is going to be a pick a card reading for Will They Come Back? So this is a person that you're thinking about and you're wondering, are they going to come back? So this is going to be in regards to love. And um, we have group one, group two, and group three. So whichever one you feel more drawn towards, maybe you feel drawn to more than one, that is totally fine. There are going to be timestamps down below so that you can skip to whichever reading you would like. So one, two, and three. And I just want to make a very quick announcement that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below. The timestamps are also going to be in the description box below as well. But yes, on how you want to, on how you can enter, sorry, um, everything is going to be in the description box below. If you would like to book a private paid reading, information will also be down there. And my bracelets, which are on Etsy, they start from just three pounds with free international shipping. They are handmade by me. So if you'd like to check any of that out, in the description box below and if you'd like to follow me on Instagram as well it will be down there so let's check up this entire situation and see what's going on so first we're going to start with group one but I'm just going to move these cards out of the way all right group number one Let's see, will they come back? So, let's have a little look. These crystals are so beautiful, aren't they? Okay. Will they come back? So that's the first card that flipped over. So this um, particular deck is called, called the Golden Universal Tarot. I know a lot of people ask me, so I thought I would just mention it in case anyone is wondering. It looks like right now they're very much so taking space and time for themselves, doing their own thing, especially with that Nine of Cups as well. Oh no, oh no, oh no. So these are, these are way too many um, that just all came out at once. We're going to take these ones, plus they are facing me as well so yeah they are very much so taking time and space for themselves right now so this is current okay we'll get on to what I see happening and I'm pretty sure you can see what's gonna happen <laughs> with that ace of pentacles but the hermit here is very much so ruled by Virgo so they're very much so in their own space their own time, they're analysing things, they're trying to figure things out for themselves and they're doing their own thing, they're using that light to guide them. So that's really what's happening right now, their own space, their own time. And also we've got the Nine of Cups here which means they're sort of just doing their own thing and they're just, you know, happy doing so and they're taking a lot of space for themselves. So it's a very individual energy coming through right now. I do also see here with this tower that there's going to be a shake-up. Now the reason you're not with this person right now is that you can trust the universe. The universe is protecting you. You know, if you were to be with this person right now, I don't think they, they would be able to give you exactly what you would want. And that is the reason why you guys are not together. But this tower is a shake-up. It shows essentially a demolition. You know, the tower gets crumbled out and a new one is put in its place and something, you know, so much better. So this is a shake-up. What's happening right now is they're taking time and space for themselves. What's going to happen is I do feel they're going to awaken to feelings in regards to you and you know it's going to start something a new, a new cycle and they are going to come back because of that ace of pentacles which I've been staring at for a really long time and I'm sure you guys have been staring at it as well thinking come on get to the point I see that ace of pentacles. Here we go. Ace of Pentacles, an offer. You know, this space and this time allows them to really think about what they want. You see that little passage there? It's about an initiation. That coin is about commitment, wanting to offer you something, wanting to come back, telling you their feelings, their truth, how they feel about you. This, this space and this time allows them to think more in that sense. So that's really what's happening in this particular scenario. So to answer the first reading, essentially, yes, I see that they are going to be coming back. They will be coming back and I do see that, you know, in this space and time, they have been able to evaluate different options, evaluate different things in their life. And they've come to, you know, they will come to that conclusion, you know, and that tower is that conclusion, them reaching the, con the conclusion, communicating with you, rushing in, rushing back in with communication, 
wanting to tell you the truth, the honesty, how they feel about you, why they've been so quiet. And, you know, they I do feel they're going to come back and they're going to talk to you so much more. And for some of you, this is that opening in communication where you may not have had any communication with this person. So that's that opening that I'm seeing with the uh, the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands does, you know, really show this sort of energy that they have been in, where they've been evaluating a lot. So this Three of Cups is a union, it's a celebration, it's a gathering, it's about joy. Now, this is the bit where this reading kind of splits into two because I'm seeing two scenarios. So either of these scenarios may resonate with you. The first scenario is that they could have been, you know, sort of talking to other people and weighing up their options in that sense. But I do see that, you know, this tower moment is going to allow them to see actually, you know, what that just isn't for them. And the second thing, which I think, you know, would lead on from the Three of Cups anyways, if the first bit resonated, is that, you know, they they were probably just weighing up different options in their, their life and very much so in a single energy. I feel either way they were in a single energy. But um, really, you know, just weighing up lots of different things. Perhaps it was career, perhaps it was, you know, family things, you know, other things and projects that they've been involved in. And very much so, you know, realise now that this is what they want to pursue. You are what they want to pursue. And with that Three of Cups, it indicates a union, a gathering, a celebration, joy, the coming together, um, and just being able to celebrate that with people. We've also got the Ten of Wands here. And the Ten of Wands is really about, you know, feeling burdened so you know some I do feel like the universe has protected you in a way because this person hasn't been feeling their best they were not ready to be able to give you everything um, and in many ways they had to learn learn that by being in their own space and now I feel you know the timing is good now it's just got the seven of ones that just flipped as well okay so we've got all our cards so I do see that they are going to be coming back around and, you know, they will be much more, they'll be much more able to sort of fight through things, fight, fight through obstacles and challenges because they'll be moving through it with this, you know, with this action of really just getting through it rather than, you know, feeling burdened. They'll be, they'll be wanting to fight for you as well. That's what I'm seeing. King of Swords and the Queen of Swords counterparts. Counterparts. There you go. There it is. A union you know, fighting for you, wanting to come back to you, knowing what is right, you know, whatever they did before, it led them to be very burdened, now they're much more open, they feel a lot better as well, and the king of swords is a king-like energy, again, whether you're male or female, whatever kind of relationship you're in, um, you know, we read energies in tarot, but I do feel this is very much so their energy, whether this is a female or a male, really, you know, feeling so much more better. They feel so much more in their power. They feel like they can communicate more easily, especially with that Knight of Wands as well. This is growth. They feel they can be honest with you. You know, they can really tell you how they feel and they feel much, much stronger. That's that, that vibe that I'm getting as well. You know, they've got their armor on. They feel good. And we've also got, you know, wanting to fight for you as well, wanting to come forward to you that element of commitment as well, you know, you've got counterparts here, something for the long term, ah, oh, I've got the queen of wands here, and also, you know, this these two queens are very much so your energy and how they think about you, they think that you're someone that's very mature, someone that really deserves the best, so they do put you on a pedestal, believe it or not, and now I do feel they will be ready to really be able to manifest things with you, because they're very much so on a very similar page, once, you know, all of this work has sort of happened, and they've taken time and space for themselves, they'll be feeling much better. And also this Queen of Swords is essentially about, you know, having boundaries. They feel like you have good boundaries, that you're very clever, you're very concise. You cut out people, places and things that don't serve you. They find that very attractive. Now how someone thinks about you and how you think about yourself are two completely different things, but they think of you very highly. And that is actually a really good place to be in. So that Queen of Swords is a great energy. They just think that, you know, you sit in your power and that you're a really good, sort of mature, independent person. And of course, you've got counterparts. They also feel with this Queen of Wands that, you know, they're not going to be able to find you anywhere else. There's a physical attraction there. There's a good, you know, sort of communication element where you bounce off of each other as well. So, you, they, you know, this person really does feel that you have a lot in common with them. And um, essentially, you know, with this Queen of Wands, they find you very attractive. You know, not just in terms of the physical sort of looks and things like that, but also in terms of intellect. Again, that clever 
that cleverness coming through. So, you know, there's a physical attraction here, but there's also mental attraction as well, and a physical sort of attraction, and a spiritual, you know, spiritual connection here. And they feel that, you know, you're very sort of well-nourished, you have a lot of things going for you, you're very attractive in that sense, you're very passionate about things, and that you have lots of ideas, and that you're, you know, you're pretty creative in that sense, and that they're not going to find someone else like you, and they're going to go through that awakening with that tower. So, group number one, yes, I do see that they are going to come back, and, you know, um, in terms of, of that, there it is. There it is. So, I am going to now move on to group number two, but if this resonates with your situation, let me know in the comment section below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'm going to move on to the second group. Thank you so much for checking in, and I, I hope you enjoy the reading. Alright, group number two, let's see if they are going to come back, so let me just grab the cards, alright, so these are the cards, really pretty crystal, they are really stunning though, okay, will they come back, let's have a look and see, so, uh, <laughs> all these cards just fell out, but put those back in. They, they all just came out in a big chunk. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So, you know, feeling left out. I do feel like they feel left out. They feel like they want something. So, I do feel like this person has matured quite a bit and they want some form of stability in their life just because, you know, that five there is a changing energy, you know, fives in tarot are about change and I do feel like, you know, the five is about this sort of single energy where you feel left out in the cold, you feel abandoned or you feel isolated and you, you want company, you know, you want something and I do feel like with this king of pentacles energy, this person is going to grow and mature if they haven't already or this person has grown and matured a hell of a lot and they crave stability, security and they want companionship essentially. So that's what I'm seeing with this particular spray. I'm just going to take a little sip of my water. Mm. That's really coming through with the Queen of Pentacles. Craving stability and security deep down. So I'm seeing essentially either this person isn't quite ready yet and they're going to mature to this, or they've already matured to this. So um, there's sort of two elements that I'm really seeing in this particular reading. But you know, the, the outcome of the reading is, is going to be the same, and I do believe that this person is going to be coming back into your life, um, just with the nature of those first two cards. So, oh, it fell on the floor. Right, okay, let me just grab those. You've got the Three of Cups, and you've got the Two of Cups, and... Temperance. Oh, and another card also fell out. Oh, there's two here. The Six and the Seven of Swords. Alright, so, shall we talk about those swords first? So, I do feel like this, you know, whatever happened in the past with this particular person, it led to... It led you to be hurt, I feel, because we've got the Five of Pentacles there as well, and this does, I feel... I feel this reflects your energy, but now they're starting to feel the effects of what happened in the past. So they're starting to feel this, even though this is what they caused you. That's what I'm getting in this particular reading. So the six and the seven of swords, sorry, uh, yeah, the six and the seven of swords there is really about, you know, whatever they did in the past. So perhaps they emotionally ran away from you or they ended the situation because they, they just didn't feel like they could. And that Seven of Swords is them saying one thing and doing another. You know, sometimes they act like they're ready for something and then they just run away all of a sudden. That's that energy that I'm getting. So not being 100% truthful and honest with you and then sort of abandoning you and leaving you. That's that energy that I am getting. And I do feel that they're going to come back around because we've got the three here. And three is also about bouncing back around. It's about karma, things coming back around again. And I do feel they're going to feel the effects of the hurt that they caused you. So this five is very much so what they are going to be feeling 
If not, they are already feeling this. So, you know, that all of these energies are very much so interlinked and they are feeling very, very guilty for what they did in the past and I do feel they are going to be coming back around, especially with that King of Pentacles energy because they are so much more grown and mature to the point where they realise, you know, what they've caused. If this person was very immature still, they wouldn't really care about the hurt that they caused you, but now, because they're much more mature and much more stable within themselves and their emotions, they're able to feel what they did and they know that what they did was wrong. So they're also feeling this this energy of the five of pentacles. And that three is really about karma. They're feeling their karma. And, um, you know, they really do feel a very strong connection to you. Now, the three of cups is also about a reunion. So that's what I'm seeing with this particular cup. Sometimes it can be about a third party, but I'm not seeing that. And if you feel like you're in a third party situation where, you know, this person is seeing someone else, Number one, I don't necessarily see it lasting, so don't worry about that. And also, number two, I don't really feel like it's, it's you know, a third-party situation as well. So it, it kind of goes two ways, essentially. You know, if this person is dealing with someone else, it's not going to last. But at the same time, it, you are going to have a, a, you know, a reunion with this particular person. But again, you know, they may not even be with someone. So again, two sides to this particular reading. I know it can be really confusing, but I'm speaking to a lot of people here, so that's that's what I'm seeing, is that things are going to bounce back around with this person, and, you know, again, that reunion is going to be between the two of you. There is going to be an equal cup of love offered both sides, things are going to balance, things are going to be very, very equal between the two of you, they're going to be mutual, they're not going to be one-sided whatsoever, and you see that with the Temperance card. So, you know, temperance really is about patience as a virtue, it's about things being balanced, emotional balance, you know, balance in terms of spirituality as well. And again, you see that balance with the two of cups. And, you know, the three really here is about a reunion, things coming back around karma, essentially. So, you know, really, really nice, you know, there's significant amount of emotion here, there's love between two people, and I do see, you know, things growing and manifesting between the two of you. cards that always keep falling out. Okay, we're not going to take these, we're just going to take the ones that fell up. So we've got the Queen of Cups here. So, you know, emotions. There's a lot of sharing of emotions. This person is thinking a lot about you. You know, Seven of Pentacles is about thinking and wondering what can they do next. So I do feel a lot of them are going to be feeling very much so that they want to reach out to you and want to speak to you, talk to you see what's going on, that's going to happen because I do see with the Queen of Cups they're going to be able to emotionally sort of connect to themselves and really reach out, that's that sort of energy that I'm seeing. They are much more emotionally vulnerable and emotionally more in tune with themselves which is again another message that is really coming through quite strongly with the Queen of Cups so I do see a lot of them are going to be so much more open emotionally. Especially with that Two of Cups as well. Now I'm just going to cut the deck and take out three cards, so one two, the lovers, and three, the nine of swords. Look at that. Thinking about you a hell of a lot, a very dark energy. Thinking about you so, so, so much to the point where they can't sleep. That's that energy really coming through. Again, that seven of pentacles really thinking about you. You know, during the day, thinking about you a lot, but also during the night, I feel like they get dreams about you, they fantasize about you. So day and night, they think about you. So we've got here the Emperor. So this is someone, you know, in the past that perhaps was not very emotional. You know, the Emperor is an action taker. I still see them as an action taker, someone that takes action, lets you know how they feel about you. Very much so coming through in this particular spread and this reading. So that's coming through pretty strongly. They're going to take action towards you. And you've also got the Lovers here. And the Lovers is very telling. And it's, you know, that, that those two cups there as well. Um, I don't see any involvement further along the line with anyone else. And so, you know, this reading is for those of you, I feel, you know, that, you know, things are going to come back around and things are going to happen. You know, there's essentially two ways. The first way is that this person was never talking to someone else and they just needed to figure themselves out and emotionally grow and mature, which is something that has happened. And the second thing is maybe they were talking to other people or maybe there was a karmic person involved that was there to teach them the lessons, right? 
and that has also something that may have occurred but eventually whatever the situation is I feel like they're going to bounce back around to you and just have those eyes for you especially with those two cups especially with the lovers as well the lovers is ruled by Gemini it's about the twins you know this could be very much so a twin flame you know, it's soulmate connection. It's something very, very spiritual. It's something that grows and manifests. And there is love here. There is unconditional love. And there's an opening of emotion as well. So, yes, there's a spiritual connection. There's a mental connection. There's an emotional connection and a physical connection as well with the temperance card as well. Um, and the emperor, you know, fire energy. And this person is really going to, you know, they're going to be thinking about you so much to the point where they just emotionally spill out their emotions. You know, they're going to, it's like the waterworks. It's, it's all going to come out. They can't hide it any longer. You know, the emperor can stuff all those emotions down and just go about their day. But at the end of the day, with the Queen of Cups energy, they can't hold it down any longer. And that realization, you know, of the King of Pentacles wanting and craving stability and security, it all comes back around. So, yes, this person is going to come back. There you go. There you go. They are going to come back. So we are going to move on now to group number three. If this resonates with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video as well and subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to move on to group number three. Let's have a little look. All right. Okay, group number three, let's see, <laughs> will they come back? So, let's have a little look and see if they are going to be coming back. This tarot deck is called the Neo Tarot, it's actually really brand new, I think it only just uh, launched, so it's brand new and it's very modern, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm just telling you the, the name of it because a lot of people do ask in the comment section below, so... Here we go. Will they come back? First card that flipped over is the King of Pentacles. Whew. If this isn't telling, I don't know what is. I think in the first card we just answered it, didn't we? Yes, this person is going to come back. However, it can take a little bit of time. This person needs to still mature a little bit. However, I am seeing that deep down, you know, they crave stability, security, a long-term commitment, a long-term relationship. It's something that's very important to them. But I do see that it's going to take a little bit of time because they just need to really get themselves together and they need to mature a little bit more. So, King of Pentacles, yes, I do think they will come back to you. There you go. There you go. Because there is an offering of commitment. There is an offering of wanting to be with you. Now, whether this is male or female, remember I read energies in tarot, not the genders. So this could be a female. You know, you could be a male wondering if your your you know female is going to come back or if your male is going to come back, you know, because it could be for a male male relationship, female female relationship, male female relationship. Or if you know if you're in a um, relationship with two other people, perhaps you're thinking if one other person is going to come back, you know, because that can also happen as well. So, anyways, the point being, this other person that you're thinking about in in regard to love, yes, they're going to come back, and yes, they're going to want to offer you something very solid, something for the long term, and something very secure. <clears throat> okay, we just got a few chunk of cards that just came out. So I think for the rest of the um, reading I'm going to cut the, the deck because they're all sort of sticking together in that sense but it's fine they were meant to come out page of pentacles again so essentially I do feel like they're more of a page energy right now so they have to sort of grow into that king energy which is why it can take time um, but again they still do think about you you know the thought of you is very much so there and they do think about you in terms of the future you know that pentacle is really small right now but you know in the future, it's going to grow and they're going to really offer it to you. They're going to want something quite very stable and secure. And that page is, you know, again, them thinking about you and also thinking to themselves that they know that there's something in the future that they can have with you. There is potential there as well. So we've got the Knight of Swords. So this does show, you know, communication. So, you know, before, of course, they offer you commitment, there is still going to be them coming back around. And that will happen, of course, much sooner than they commit. But um, what I am seeing is that the Knight of Swords, you know, really, they 
they will communicate with you, they will give you honesty, they will give you the truth of how they feel about you, and you'll find that you just keep communicating back and forth, back and forth, you just have so much in common with them that you just keep talking and talking and talking, and they sort of think to themselves, actually, no, you know, this is really that person, but even before that, with that page of pentacles, they're still going to be thinking a lot about you, and they they really do wonder about you as well. So that Knight of Swords is, is really them rushing in and wanting to genuinely communicate with you. You've got Death here, which is about a transformation. So again, you know, I did mention that this person has some maturing to do, some growing to do, and that's gonna that's gonna happen. You know, the Death card is ruled by Scorpio. Scorpio is a very intense sign. It's a water sign, so there are emotions involved here as well. There's a lot of maturing that needs to happen. I feel emotional maturing as well. And that's going to happen. And then that's going to allow things to really get rolling and for this person to really come back. So I do feel like emotional maturing needs to happen before this person really starts to sort of get back with you in the sense of really coming back and, you know, giving you commitment. So essentially what's going to happen is that this person needs to, first of all, emotionally mature. There, the death needs to happen. Um, not physical death. This is death in terms of the transformation. Just want to put that out there. Um, so, you know, that's going to happen. It's going to be death and rebirth, and they're going to feel so much better. They're going to come in and really communicate across to you. They still do think about you regardless of whether this transformation has happened or not. But, you know, the King of Pentacles energy of wanting to commit to you is going to happen a little bit later on. So this, this needs to happen first. But essentially, this is how they think about you right now as well in that page energy. I hope that clarified things. I really hope it did, because <laughs> it can be quite confusing. So we've got justice here, and justice is very much so about balance. So really, you know, they need to get more balanced and more grounded, and they also feel that you're very balanced. They put you on a pedestal. They really do think that, you know, you're someone that really has very strong boundaries. Again, how you feel about yourself, how someone else, think, you know, feels about you and thinks of you. Two completely different things. So they really put you on a pedestal. They think that you're very, very clear and concise, you have really good boundaries, you have the ability to really make things work, you're really good at problem solving, that's something that's also coming through, and they feel that you're very balanced, but they also feel deep down that they need to get more balanced to be on the same page as you, and so, you know, the universe is going to somehow orchestrate them to have this transformation, because they do think about you a lot, and everything is sort of just seamlessly going to come together, that's that feeling that I'm getting, but again, it can take time, and during this time, it's very important that you focus on yourself. You sort of mirror this person where, you know, they're putting a lot of time and energy into themselves and really trying to figure things out. Same goes for you. You know, try and put all of that time and energy into yourself and, you know, really try and, you know, try and try and put all of your um, energy into your hobbies, your dreams, your goals, and also, you know, perhaps journaling, meditation, yoga, whatever it is that makes you happy and of course you know makes you want to feel you know it, it makes you feel better essentially that that's what it's going to do <laughs> all right so I'm just going to take one two and three so we've got here the five of wands so this can be confusion, you know, they think about you, but then there's confusion, right? They think about you and then they think, oh, maybe I'm not ready, uh, things like that. So that's essentially, you know, with a page of pentacles, yes, they think about you, but then there is confusion deep down there. However, you know, with this death card and the transformation, it's going to allow them to awaken and really, you know, uh, what what is the word? Oh, it's going to allow them to really be with their emotions. So, you know, they're, they're going to understand their emotions. The word became began with C, but I've completely forgot it, and it's not communicate. Uh, forgotten the word, but essentially they're going to really be in their emotions, and this is going to allow them to really come towards you. So right now there can be some confusion in their mind. Got the Queen of Pentacles here, so it shows counterparts, which I am not even surprised by, you guys. At this point, I'm like, yes, you know, Queen and King, but actually it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> counterparts, huge, huge energies. So again, you know, it shows that there is potential for the future, something very long-term, something very stable, something that can make you feel really, really great, and something that will, you know, provide you happiness for the future and, and joy, and something, again, you know, family-wise, something very stable, long-term, stability, security, balance. That's what I'm seeing here as well, and, you know, you really being in your power as well, you know, using 
that um, this time and this energy to build yourself up and your energy, which is very important. So do not neglect yourself in any way, shape or form and definitely put your time and energy into yourself. Let this person go through their transformation, do what they're doing. Put your energy into yourself because, you know, you guys may be spiritually tied to each other. That's something I'm seeing, whether you're twin flames or soulmates or you may have past lives together. Um, you know, they can feel your energy. So the more you sort of work on yourself and really put all of that energy into yourself, the more, you know, I feel they will also start to really progress. So it can actually speed up things the more you focus on yourself. Queen of Wands here is, you know, how they see you. Again, whether you're male or female, this is how they see you. This is how I feel they, they are in energy. And also this card reflects both of you. So, you know, and how they want to be, remember. Justice card is how they want to be, but also how they see you. This card is them, you know, the five of wands being a bit confused with page of pentacles. And so, you know, the queen of wands is all about feeling like you are someone that just has your shit together. You know, you've got it together. You are nourished and you have goals, you have hobbies, you have passion. You, you know, you, you've, you're just someone that's just so enthusiastic and passionate about the world. Again, how someone sees you and how you see yourself can be two completely different things, but this is no bad thing whatsoever because they think very, very highly of you. They think you're a great, great person and they, they genuinely just think the world of you at this, you know, and, and it's going to grow. Remember, it's going to continuously, it's going to grow and grow and grow. Um, but they do get confused. You know, sometimes they feel they're not ready for someone of your caliber. That's also how they, they, they feel. So even though they do feel these incredible things, they do also get confused. But with this transformation with the death card, they are going to allow themselves to be much, much better in that sense. And they're not going to be as sort of confused and that kind of, that kind of an energy. It is going to, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be much better because they are going to really accept this and not be confused in the future but right now they're confused right they think about you like this but they feel like sometimes you're too good for them as well you know really putting you on the pedestal queen of wands again physically attracted to you mentally also attracted to you as well but that's going to grow and grow more as they go through their transformation so they are very much so attracted to you okay i'm just going to shuffle and then we're going to get out the other four cards and probably all right well there they are <laughs> there they are so i guess i don't have to cut the deck or anything like that all right. Do you see what I see? Because I see something amazing. Yay. This is such a great reading. And I, I felt it from the first card that came out. The answer to your question is yes, they are going to come back. So if you want to see the rest of the cards and the rest of the messages, you know, here they are. King of Wands. Again, counterparts. This person is physically attracted to you. And do you see all of these counterparts? You've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. You've got the Queen and the King of Wands. Counterpart galore is all I am going to say. This is about feeling really good in the connection, feeling strong and stable. There's a mental connection, emotional connection, especially with this transformation that happens, a physical connection that is absolutely beyond. There's chemistry, passion, there's lust, there's intimacy and they take action towards you. They pursue you. You know, When they come towards you, they pursue you. They want you. They, you know, there's this connection that is just absolutely beyond, and they have ideas, they stand in their power. There's this great connection here, absolutely incredible, but it takes time for it to really all sort of come together in that sense. So we also have here the Sun card, and the Sun here is about joy, happiness, feeling good and radiant in this particular situation, feeling like things are really, you know, coming together, feeling giddy and happy and joyful and oh just feeling really positive in the situation feeling like things are just happening for the right reason everything's happening yay you know everything's happening now the other thing i want to mention is that this is a timeless reading from whenever you watch it as i am filming this video currently right so my energy right now you know this is going to be a timeless reading for whenever you watch it so from whenever you watch it it's going to i believe resonate but the sun right now, as I'm speaking to you, is in Gemini, and Gemini rules the, you know, Gemini is the twins, right? And in tarot, even though the card didn't come out, which is the lovers, the lovers is ruled by Gemini, and the sun is currently in Gemini, and it's, it's, it's that feeling I'm getting of love, essentially, with this sun card. So, you know, I'm getting a feeling of love, things really working out in the future, this person coming back around, and the sun is a big fat yes, you know, it's a yes, essentially. Um, and a yes because of this transformation that's going to occur, things that are going to happen. 
Four of Swords here is making sure that you focus on yourself. This is again something that I mentioned. You know, yoga, meditation, journaling can be very, very good for you. That's something that's coming through from the guides. You know, focus, rest, retreat. Just focus on yourself, your goals, your dreams, your hobbies. And spiritually, this can allow things to move and progress faster. So that four, um, that four of Swords is really, really, you know, is really there for you. And also, I feel like they will also sort of in parallel mirror as well. So that's coming through. The Empress is, you know, this beautiful energy of how they also think about you and how it will all manifest, you know. So again, they can be quite confused in how they think about you right now. But I do feel that, you know, over time, as, you know, the transformation occurs, remember, everyone is on a different sort of path. So again, you know, I'm speaking, you know, in, in different wavelengths where, you know, some of you, for some of you, this person may already be at that King of Pentacles level. Some of them may still be very much so confused and some of them may sort of be starting to communicate after their transformation. Some of them may, may be going through that transformation. So you're all on different levels and on different paths. But what I am seeing is that they will think about you as the Empress. Empress is Earth energy. It's about security, stability, caring, kindness. You know, you're someone that's nurturing, that's how they feel about you. You know, family as well, because the Empress is about pe pregnancy. So regardless of if you're male or female, you know, it indicates that there can be children in this situation, um, if you choose to, of course, have children. So, you know, regardless, um, again, you know, it doesn't have to be always your own children. It can be adoption, things like that. But I'm seeing that there can be children and a family in this um, connection again, you know, even if you're in a male-male or a female-female relationship. So that's coming through, especially with the Empress, this beautiful, beautiful energy, you know, Empress is ruled by Venus, Venus is about love, so again, it ties in with, you know, the Sun and Gemini and me talking about the lovers, there is love here, there's a beautiful connection. Again, you've got two sets of counterparts, and you've got the Page of Wands, which shows an opening, it shows about communication, it shows a spark, it shows an initiation, which is going to be occurring as well, as we see with the Page of Swords, and it also shows a spark and chemistry. We've also got here the Six of Pentacles. It shows balance in this connection. It shows stability, again, security, that element of giving and sort of taking. So it's not going to be a one-sided thing whatsoever. It's going to be very balanced, very beautiful. It's something that's going to make you happy and feel joyful and genuinely just give you, you know, that sense of balance. And again, that's something that, you know, this person is really going to be working towards with the Justice card because Justice is Libra. Libra is about balance as well. So it's going to be very balanced and very stable. And that is what I'm seeing for you. So group number three, yes, I do see that they will come back. And that is the reading. Oh my God, this is absolutely incredible. Amazing. So let me know in the comment section below how this resonates with you. Don't forget to like this video as well if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, and check out the description box below for information on how you can win a free reading, um, private paid readings, and also my bracelets, which are down below as well. And I will see you all very, very soon. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, link will also be down below. And yeah, this is an incredible reading, and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Have a lovely day, night, wherever you are. Take care, everyone. Bye!